LPR, or ANPR license plate recognition, or automatic number plate recognition, is a technology that uses optical character recognition on images to read vehicle registration plates to create vehicle location data. It can automatically recognize vehicle license plates number and other related information. Using the technology of license plate position tracking, character segmentation and character recognition, this video is all about LPR analytics functionality for Honeywell's HBL 6GR2 camera. This is the second video in the series. First videos is about how to activate the license for the LPR analytics for Honeywell's HBL 6GR2 camera. Link given in the description or you can find from i button. In this video, we will see how to configure LPR analytics and we will see live number plates tracing with a moving vehicle. So without any ado, let's start the video. Previously we stopped the video at this point, once camera license activated. LPR configuration interface will reveal. The following settings are recommended as a general guide for a vehicle arriving at a gate or barrier. First of all user have to select the location from which country's vehicles expected to be arrived at LPR camera. Default United Kingdom have selected because camera manufactured by UK factory. Remove it by clicking on X button located behind the selection. Select a country from the drop down list and click the plus button to edit. User can have up to six countries. Start with the most likely country. Here I'm adding four Middle East countries, form where vehicles could be arriving. Next grammar strict, check this if you only want to detect plates from the specified countries. Next option, multiple countries, balance check this, if all selected countries should be considered. If not checked, then the countries will be considered, in listed order, and the first country to match will be used. Next category configuration, for number plate. Here, user has to configure options regarding number plates, such as background mode, minimum number of plate characters, maximum number of plate characters, video resolution, and minimum character height. This configuration completely depends on user working for site. User should remember. Background mode should be selected as both black and white, and color. While the configuration, user has to follow the analytics engine uses a 1920 by 1080 image. A value of 20 pixels is therefore 2.8% of the image height, and 40 pixels is 5.6% of the image height. The camera position and zoom must be chosen so that the license plate character heights lie within this range at the desired detection distance. The other options is very simple to configure as per site condition. Next two categories, environment and OCR. As per manufacturer recommendation, this settings have made for all weather conditions. So not required to change any values. Keep those settings as it is and click on submit. Once the configuration saved, user can see a pop-up on the screen with the message, configuration changes has been saved. Let's close this pop-up by clicking on close button. Next we have to configure region of interest. Vehicle trays can detect license plates throughout the image. A region of interest can be used to prevent parked vehicles and other signs being read by the system. To configure it, go to menu located at the top right of the interface. Select region of interest. It will take some time and open live view of the camera. To add region of interest, click on add new ROI. Then click on the image to add points of a polygon that will define the region analyze. Provide any ROI ID from drop down list. Then, when adding points done, click on Conform ROI. Then click on Submit ROIs. Once click on Submit, the configuration will be finished. It's time for the test LPR camera, whether it's reading the number plates or not. For that, I will open two windows one for camera live view and other for LPR analytics. 
so we can identify that the camera working or not. Let's check while the vehicle crossing the camera. As you can see on the screen, the camera capturing the number plate while vehicle crosses the camera. Once vehicles cross the camera, it will read the number plate, date, time, and picture of number plate. This camera will store recent record. To store more records, users should connect an internal storage to camera or else interface with Honeywell NVR and VMS. In the next video, we will see how to interface LPR camera with MaxPro NVR and MaxPro VMS to see the vehicle license plates on the MaxPro VMS. Link is given in the description. Hope you learn about Honeywell's LPR camera configuration. Thank you for watching this video. If you are looking technical support for your systems, kindly contact us by WhatsApp. And we are also available at all social media platforms. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.